The Kansas City Bicycle Club is gearing up for their City of Fountains bike tour, which is this Sunday, June 19th at Washington Square Park in a, near Union Station, near right? Union, yeah. Right, that's correct. And uh, to tell us more about this is uh, Mitchell Williams. He is with Kansas City's uh, Bike Club. And I did this uh, bike tour last year. Yes. It is a blast. And it really gives people an opportunity to see the fountains that you typically just drive by all the time, all the time. But now you're on a bike and you can actually stop and maybe enjoy it. Kansas City is a very beautiful city. Uh, this city is uh, second only to Rome in the number yeah. of fountains. And most people are just driving by them, so they don't have an opportunity to, to see them. But with this, with this ride, this tour, the City of Fountains Bicycle Tour, you just leisurely go along and yeah. we, we uh, see various sites in the city, uh, many different fountains. How many fountains uh, are in the tour, do you know? I know there were dozens uh, when, when I did it last year. I, I want to say there's at least 30 fountains yeah, in, in the tour. That you will see. That you will see. Yeah, some right. small ones, some big ones, right. some that you didn't even know right. uh, were there. There were some downtown. I had no clue. And in fact, uh, one of the fountains that we will tour uh, downtown is on 8th, in between 8th and 9th on Main Street. It's called the Muse. And just a little interesting. Background? Yeah, background about that. Okay. Uh, that was the first fountain in Kansas City. And it actually began as a watering hole for dogs. Interesting. Uh, it's probably still used by dogs. Probably still. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, then later on, the uh, fountain was raised for horses. They say in the 1900s, Kansas City had a population of like 70,000 horses. Uh -huh. So later on, that outlet was wow. raised so that people uh, could drink from it Love and it. the Muse Fountain replaced that water and home. Nice. And uh, there is so much history with our fountains here in the yes. city. And so there, there are two ways that you can do this tour. You can just do it uh, with the group, you know, and just ride along. You don't necessarily have to stop, but you also have a guided tour. Yes, we have a guided will tour. will stop and talk to you about that particular fountain. Exactly right. Okay. The guided tour is about a nine mile uh, a route. Okay. And what's uh, the full like? The full route is 39 miles. 39 miles. 39 miles. I, when uh, I did it last year, like I thought that number was overwhelming, but it really isn't bad because there are areas where, what is it, every Eight or 12 it's miles. about every about every say 10 miles 10 or so miles. there's a rest stop yeah. and we also have a uh, roving uh, support so yeah. if you're tired if you have mechanical yeah. problems and you or guys something. have Gatorade and water right. and some snacks right. for people so we it's a, it's a family friendly yeah. ride and it's a lot of fun it is one worth doing definitely worth doing especially if you're going to do bike ms in september this is a great training ride for you so the city of fountains bike tour it is going to be this sunday folks june 19th it's at the washington square park and pershing road which is right by union station you'll see a bunch of bikers there so you won't miss it registration starts at 6:30 a.m. in the morning the ride starts at 7:30 and to get more information about it just go to nbcactionnews.com and by the way Mitchell, how much is the cost? What is $35 it? Okay. if you, the day of, but okay. if you go to our website, there are uh, discounts available. Okay, and that is the Kansas City Bicycle Club yes. website. Yes, it's kcbc.org. All right. Come thanks. ride with us. <laughs>